as a basketball observer, you're trading a 24-year-old player. Tell me when this has happened. An ascending player for clearly a descending player. Now, I understand the dynamics of trading Jordan Poole. Was it really that bad? Was it that bad? And why did you give him the contract extension? That was weeks after the, the incident. If you just didn't give him the extension, how much would you have to pay Jordan Poole right now after the season he just had? He'd have no you know, market. He would to some degree because I think people that know the game realize his special ability as an offensive player. He's just got to calm down. So I, well, we'll ask the audience a number of questions. I don't like the trade. I don't understand the trade. I, I understand it from a dollar standpoint and a chemistry standpoint. Do they just have to move Jordan Poole? And I think you got your answer on what the league thought because they, they gave you back a broken down Chris Paul, who I think will get in shape and play better. But then there's the other component. I mean, it's just a basketball sense, John. Give me a comp to a trade like this. It makes no sense, except for the reasons we just cited. You Which are huge. I, Which but are they, huge. Don't, they don't make you better. They, no, uh, you but know, maximizing the Steph window. Which player is better on the Steph? The team right now, Jordan Poole playing the way he can play. And Chris Paul fits better for a year. He doesn't fit better for two years, three years, five years, but he fits better for a year. Why? He can't. He can't beat you off the dribble and score the way Jordan Poole can score. But he can. He can. He can be the point guard for a second unit. Now, if you're talking about Jordan Poole two years ago, there's a debate. If you're talking about Jordan Poole yet wow. last year, there's not. I mean, he, look, he's the he's same gonna, player. No, but he's going to open up windows for Jonathan Kaminga. He's going. He's not going to start, but he's going to finish. He will get in good shape. He knows this is absolutely, positively his best chance to win a championship. He's probably going to be here. It's his last for, chance for one year. And look, it, it, two, three, five years from now, people are going to complain about this trade. But this is simple. This was the only way to significantly get out of that second apron at some it's point very finances. soon, which part. then allows you to sign other players down the line and stop not only the financial penalties, but the penalties of the mid-level exception, all these different things they can't do. So while short-term, I think it's better. Long-term, it could end up being disastrous. There's no question about it. 